Yo, what's going on, YouTube? It's your boy, Kai. It's Limitless. And we back with another one. And we've been closely covering what's going on with Diddy and the raid that happened. And this wasn't no low-level investigation or even your typical raid. We're seeing more footage. We could see the type of militarized Fed unit that came to confiscate footage from not one, not two, but three of Diddy's homes. And now we have even more footage that shows the kind of pressure was being applied to this raid, which makes me really wonder why wasn't Diddy arrested and taken in for questioning if they had enough warrants and probable cause to do such a high level raid? Because the feds can't do such a raid without getting permission from a judge and have to submit evidence that some illegal activity is going on. And we actually have the mother of Justin Combs speaking out on the situation. And she says, the overzealous and overt militarized force used against my sons, Justin and Christian, is deplorable. If these were the sons of a non-black celebrity, they would not have been handled with the same aggression. The attempt to humiliate and terrorize these innocent young black men is despicable. Enough is enough. Did Justin need several laser beams pointed from firearms at his chest? Did Christian need a gun pointed at the back of his head while he was being handcuffed? How many times have we seen young unarmed black men not make it out of these type of situations alive? My son's attorney, Jeffrey Lynchman, is investigating the excessive use of force, which was unnecessary and certainly not required by the search warrant. So I'm really wondering what did the feds use as probable cause to allow them to do this raid? Did they use the civil lawsuits against Diddy that claimed that he's been doing all kind of other illegal things? Because when they're having all of these guns and all this excessive force, they must believe that Diddy's dangerous. Yet they're saying they're investigating Diddy for human trafficking. So it does make me wonder why did they have such excessive force and all kind of militarized tanks and stuff? Almost like they're saying Diddy has got hostages or something like that. So something is very fishy going on here and things are not really adding up. So I believe on top of the sex trafficking investigation, Diddy possibly being investigated for more violent crimes. Being in that the lawsuit accuses Diddy of shooting a man with his son Justin Combs in broad daylight. And the woman shot in a 1999 shooting at a club with J-Lo. The victim claims that Diddy shot her in the face. On top of the murder of Tupac coming back alive with the arrest of Keefe D who claims that Diddy put a million dollar bounty on Tupac's head. So let me know what y'all think in the comment box. Do y'all think that the feds had, you know, an excessive raid with excessive force or is Diddy as dangerous as the allegations suggest that he is? So let me know what y'all think in the comment box. Appreciate y'all for rocking with me. Like the video, subscribe, we get the 5k subs. Appreciate y'all. We gone.